Okay, good morning everyone. So today I'm looking at making a birthday card in the free version of Office, or Word specifically. So this is the online version. It is a cut down version of the purchased version, but it'll give you an idea as to stuff you can do. So we're going to start with typing out some stuff. This is a birthday invitation I'm making. So it's you've written that you'd like to invite them to a birthday invitate birthday party and we can change the font. So change the font to whatever you want to do. My computer is going a bit slowly at the moment. So you can pick whichever font you like. It's whichever one really. Um, whichever font you like. For this section maybe the handwritten you type one, so the Comic Sans. That might be a nice one to use. Um, so yeah, so click off that and then we're going to come down and we're going to use the snipping tool. Um, so you can't see that in my window at the moment. So the snipping tool, you may need to come to your search bar down the bottom and type in snipping tool. Um, so S-N-I-P-P-I-N-G tools. And you just click on that one and it brings up this little box here. Um, and you click on new. And then you basically select the little bit of paper typing that you want to actually create as a picture. So then you copy that, and click new, click new so you can actually work but we want that to go into the background because we don't need it at the moment. Um, you can delete this section here. Um, now where we actually want this to actually be is down the bottom of the page. So just hit the enter key to get down there and then control V to paste your little text box with your writing and then we need to make it so that the text wrapping is behind that because that way we can move this little box. Okay, that didn't quite work. Control Z to undo. So we want that to be in front. So the text wrapping, we want it in front of the text. So now it means that we can actually drag it around the page. At least we should be able to. Um, Either way, that part's not quite important. We'll get to that in a minute or two. So the next thing we want to write on our card is happy birthday. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> birthday invitation. So birthday invitation. Now in the full version of Word, there's lots of other things you can do to make it look more interesting. Unfortunately, in the cut down version, you are limited by the tools that are available that are free. Um, so... That's what we're using at the moment. So let's see. Yeah, you don't have any really interesting fancy fonts available here either, which is unfortunate, but it's free. You work with what you've got. Um, and there are other options for things that you can do with that sort of stuff. So we'll stick with Comic Sans again. Um, we'll just increase the size of this. That's probably a bit too big. That looks about right. Uh, so we want to do a snip tool again of that. So bring your snip tool back, click new. Now this one, it's really important that this one's actually a picture. You could do the other one so it's just in the actual program. But this one we want to actually have it so that it is a picture because we need to turn this one upside down. So we'll delete that, pick paste. And you can see this little circle arrow thing up the top here. You can spin that around. And you can have it on an angle if you want to. You can do all sorts of interesting things. Now I don't think we haven't got any up uh, we haven't got any access to clip art in this program. But what you can do is you can go to Pixabay. So Pixabay is a free website. So it is www.pix so pixabay.com and these are these are free photos and free images that you can use um, you can sign up for a free account or just download whatever you want so say you want to look for balloons because it's a birthday card it's a birthday invitation so 
these are some pictures of birthday images. You might want to have a drawing instead. So you can just drop that down and you can have an illustration. Um, so of your, of your balloons. So you've got a happy birthday picture. That one's kind of cool. Um, so you, could, you can use any one of these and, and that would work beautifully. Um, so you just pick the pictures that you like the best, what you want on your birthday card, because it is, it's your birthday card. It's your birthday invitation or your card that you're making for somebody. So I like this one. So I'm going to hit free download. And now this is where it's just checking to make sure that you're not a robot. Uh, so if you've actually signed up for a free account, you don't have to worry about this part. Um, if you're using it for um, commercial purposes, it's actually a really nice idea to credit the image. You can put a credit on the image onto your card if you wish to, but it's probably not really all that necessary. Um, so then if you don't know where it is, you could just click show, on, show in folder and it'll show you where it is actually on your computer and then you can drag it and drop it to wherever you wish to. So say you want to put it into your pictures folder, just move it over to your pictures and now it's in your pictures. So there it is there. Um, oh dear. So now I need to go back to Word and I want to insert a picture from this device, choose the file navigate to the folder I want, insert, and now I've got the photo in there. So now I can choose what I want to do with this. So I don't need it quite that big. Um, and you just kind of move it around to where you want it to be on the page. So you may decide that you want to actually do it so that your page folds that way, so it's only a two-paged um, card, but that'll mean printing on the front and the back of the piece of paper. Doing it so that you fold the page in quarters actually means you can use just one piece of paper and you don't need to print it out a second time. Um, so the tricky part here is actually lining stuff up so that it all fits nicely on the page. Um, so we want to change the layout of this so we can have that so it goes in front of things. Ah, I've done it again because it's going to be just going in front of the... So I'm actually going to delete all of those enters that I've got in there. Oh, actually, no, I won't. It's just too much mucking around. I'll have that in front of the text. <clears throat> so we want to grab this. It can be a little difficult to actually pick up things sometimes. Oh. Unfortunately, trying to do this on a small screen is making life a little bit difficult at the moment. So I'll view that and I'll change this to zoom. I'm going to go 50%. So now I can actually see what's on my page. Now I need this to be on the other side. Let's see what other options I've got here. I want to align that to the right. So that's really good. I actually want that further over so I'm wondering if I can... And I can't space it and I can't tab it. Maybe I've got an indent option. Yes, increase in it might work. I might just need to make that picture a bit bigger. Oh, it should be fine because I think that's in the middle of the page. But you basically adjust it to how it's working. Um, yeah, you. it take, can take a little while to actually adjust where you want it in your document and to actually get it to line up easier. There's a lot of tools in the full version of Office that do make it a lot easier. Um, 
than the free version, but the free version is free. Uh, now I've managed to get down onto the next page. I don't want to do that. So I'll bring that back up. I just don't want two pages. I only want one page. Oops. Control Z to undo. It's one of my favourite keys on the keyboard. Um, it's unfortunate that I can't actually... be useful if I could actually make that a little e um, smaller, but I can't. That's as small as I can take it. Um, uh, I've got to work out something to do with this. I might have the balloons underneath that. Now I might centre those balloons on the page. Oh, actually that's not what I wanted. Moving things around in the free version is a bit frustrating, really. Um, but you can always change the size of your images and all sorts of things like that. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so so this is the basics. The main thing you need to know is the writing you've got down the bottom here needs to be facing the right way, and the writing you've got and the pictures you've got up the top need to be upside down because you're going to fold it in the middle there and then you're going to fold it in the middle along there for next. So you're going to fold that down and then you're going to fold that over. This is going to be inside your card, this is going to be the front of the card and this is going to be the back of the card. So it just makes it a little bit difficult in here because you've got to make the images so that you can turn them upside down. It's just that little bit more complex than um, the paid for version and you need to use the snipping tool. But you can add in lots of different pictures. So you could have in picture box of presents, or if you're wanting to have a theme, you can do pictures of a theme all over the place. You can pop pictures over this side. You can put a made by your name over this side. Um, so we'll do that, actually. I'll show you how to do the made by. So go made by Gerald and Jensen. Now, the first thing you want to do is get rid of any squiggles if your name's if your name's not in the dictionary, which mine's not because I've got a, an unusual name. So I want to have that a little bit bigger. So what I do now is I get the snipping tool again, click new. Ah, now yeah, I wasn't very careful. My cursor was still there, wasn't it? So I need to move the cursor so that it's out of the road of the snipping tool. So I get the snipping tool back again and then oh, I'll go with new again. I'm just gonna because I want that to line up on that right hand side but I don't want it to Hit copy. Come back here and take that out. Do that. Hit paste. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to align that to the right hand side of the page. And then we're going to spin it upside down. So what we could do with these balloons because they're really upside down as well as to where we actually want them. Um, they all have gone and have I got two pages again? No, I haven't. Okay. So I want that up a bit. But we continue can can continue working on this a little bit more. Um, so if we want to place this in the middle of the page more, we'll bring the cursor down here, and get, our, get our snipping tool. Oops. So we get our snipping tool. Now we're going to want to pick up some white space on this side. 
So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to hit Control V to paste it. And now it's moved over a little bit. It's still not quite where I want it, so I want to move it over a bit further. Now this is really the hard way of doing it. There are a lot of other options. Um, actually, I can show you how to do that in Paint. Um, so if you type Paint in your search and bring Paint up. So there's lots of things you can do in Paint. Um, and you've probably got, you may have some more fonts in here that you can use as well. Because the font set in here would actually be all of the ones that are on your computer. Which my computer is behaving very slowly at the moment. My paint is actually not responding. If you can see that. Um, okay. Now I've gone and confused it. Okay, so you've actually got a lot more fonts in here. So you might want to use, it depends on what fonts are on your computer. So you may want to type in, you might want to have birthday invitation. And you can change the colour of it, you can change the font size, you can do all sorts of things. They say your favourite colour is green, then you can do that. And then... Once you've clicked off it, it's done. You can't edit that. Um, it's one unfortunate thing with word, with paint. But then you can come in and you copy and paste that. Copy, and we'll go back to Word. We'll delete that one. And now we've got one that's green and has fancy writing. Can't quite get it straight at the moment. Okay, that's about it. Um, and Control C because we want that those balloons paste. Oops. Copy. Oh, I haven't picked those up properly. Um, but you can just open that directly from your computer. Sorry, just bash the microphone. Um, there's the balloons. You don't want to save that. Now that's a bit big. Let's zoom out. Zoom out again. Okay, now. If you want to increase the amount of white space on either side, what you can do is you can just grab this little section here and drag it over. Okay? And then if you hit Control A, then you pick up the entire image. Control A selects everything in the image. So then you can just drag your balloons over to them being a little bit further into, further away from the side. Okay? So then you can just hit Control A again and copy, come back to Word and paste. Because I had the image selected, it's actually inserting it straight where that picture was. So now it's a, just that bit bigger. Could probably have taken it further away from the side. Oh. I probably still want it further over that side so and this can sometimes take a while to get working so you just click on your balloons and you drag it to wherever you want it to drag it depends on the image that you're working with so control A to select all the pixels control C to copy and to come over here then control V to paste Wait for it to load. Now the picture's a bit big, so we want to shrink the picture. And you know what I've just noticed? I'm putting my white space on the wrong side of the balloons. 
So I actually need to move my balloons over the other side. <laughs> ah, see, it's very easy to be tricked. Copy. So Control A to select it all. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. So now when I spin the little guy around, he's now got the white space on the correct side of the picture, which is what I want. There are some definitely some unfortunate aspects of this program, but there's always ways around it, um, especially using the snipping tool. Um, so you could just make that entire side into a picture, so you don't need to necessarily. So what I mean by that is you come in here, um, make this document a bit bigger. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So make the size of your canvas bigger. And design from here. Um, go to home and we don't want paint, we want that. So we can type in oh, birthday invitation Okay, so you've got birthday invitation and you can always select that and make it bigger to so get your birthday invitation there and then on the other side of your page you want to type in made by Carol and Jensen. And you can you can do that however whichever way you want to do it. Okay, so it's it's totally up to your creativity as to how you have that sorted out. So I think I've actually got these on the wrong side of the page. So I'm going to pick that up, take that over there, and then I'm going to select these ones. Oops, I haven't quite selected that right. Come down here. Select all that. And then drag that over there. When you're creating and designing stuff like this, though, it's not important to get it perfect the first time. What's important is to keep working on it until you've got it the way you want it. That's the main thing. So then we go Control-A to select all of it. Control C to paste, a copy, and then we come in here and we hit Control, we'll complete all these. We hit Control V to paste. Wait patiently for the computer to process it all. And spin that upside down. And you can adjust the size to however you want it. And pop it wherever you want it. So that should actually work quite nicely. Um, so, yeah, so then that's the front of the card, that's the back of the card, and that's inside the card. Um, so if you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, or if you've got another way that you can think of doing this easier, um, this is one way that you can make a birthday card that you can print out on one sheet of paper in the free version of Word. Anyway, any comments, questions or suggestions, leave them below and have a great day. Bless you.